Home rule would be disastrous to the material well-being of Ulster, as well as of the whole of Ireland. It's subversive of our civil and religious freedom, destructive of our citizenship, perilous to the unity of the Empire. We, whose names are underwritten, men of Ulster, loyal subjects of His Gracious Majesty King George V, humbly relying on the God whom our fathers in days of stress and trial confidently trusted, do hereby pledge ourselves in solemn covenant throughout this our time of threatened calamity to stand by one another in defending for ourselves and our children our cherished position of equal citizenship in the United Kingdom and in using all means which may be found necessary to defeat the present conspiracy to set up a Home Rule Parliament in Ireland. And in the event of such a Parliament being forced upon us, we further solemnly and mutually pledge ourselves to refuse to recognise its authority sure confidence that God will defend the right we here to subscribe our names. God save the King. It should be noted that Ulster's solemn league and covenant is not a declaration, a proclamation or a statement. It is a covenant, a solemn league and covenant binding those who signed it to one another, to God, and to future generations. None of us were present on the 28th of September 1912 when the covenant was signed, but we are referred to in it. We are the children who are recognized and quoted in the covenant. Our country was given and created in recognition of the courage, the service and the sacrifice of our forefathers. Its roots lay much deeper than the Home Rule crisis. We, as an independent, separate and distinct people, can trace our origins back to the massacres of 1641. That is why in Portadown we have a monument at the River Ban, we have a monument in the centre of the town marking the creation of our country. And let it be said, as we approach the centenary of our country, we will participate in no exercise designed to sweep away our country or ourselves. We will take part in no border poll. We will accept no enterprise designed to remove from its existence our country. Our country is as legally established as right to in its existence as any other. So it will remain. When we mark our centenary, let us ensure that the world is aware our country exists now and forever. God save the Queen.